according to scholars, 35,000 words of Chinese are derived from Sanskrit. Now, this will so, appear... Could you repeat that again, uh, Subhash? I didn't get that. 35,000 words of Chinese are derived mm-hmm. from Sanskrit. And now, this that is according... Is- Phenomenal. That is stunning. Phenomenal. That is stunning. stunning. And yeah, and uh, this is from the work of the foremost sinologist in the US, one Professor Victor Meyer, who is at the uh, University of Pennsylvania. Um, and you can look up the reference and so on uh, in the book. So this is very, very stunning. The second thing is that uh, the chief divinity of the Slavs. Now, the Slavs are the people, the East Europeans are the Slavs. All the East European languages are Slavic languages, and they range from Russian to Polish to Czech to Serbian and so on. So this is a huge part of Europe. The chief divinity of the Slavic people was uh, called Svetovid, uh, yes. which uh, in Sanskrit really means the knower of light or the knower mm-hmm. of whiteness. And this divinity was like Shiva. It had four faces because you also have Chatur Mukha. Shiva, four faces, and the north was called uh, Swarog, the west was called Parjanya or Parkunis, the southern was called Ladaha, and the east was called Mokosh. This is in the Slavic language, and these are literally Sanskrit words, you know, Swarga, Parjanya, Ladaha, and Moksha. So, Moksha. so uh, the, um, this Indic ideas were all over the steppe lands, the, Euro, the Eurasian plateau, uh, ranging all the way from uh, China and Korea to Europe. So these ideas uh, kept on influencing the world. And, and certainly one of these was medicine, Indian medicine. Uh, Ayurveda also influenced Chinese medicine. And, and it is probably going to influence Western medicine because Western medicine is facing a crisis. And as we saw that uh, that, uh, during the COVID times, the fatality rate in Western Europe and uh, and USA USA was many times higher uh, than in Africa and Asia. So so they need to look at this once again and and then, uh, you know, come up with something new where I believe Ayurveda would have a very significant role. Mm. 